Hi ladies. Okay, so I'm coming to you with um, some stick pins using acrylic beads. So let's jump in. Now I'm just gonna use this tag as a, to help me out with this. So these are corsage pins. So you'll see right here, I've had these for years because when I was doing vintage projects and altering cigar boxes and using vintage laces and vintage, you know, broken jewelry and stuff like that, I absolutely love that style. I've just changed course and tried something new. So I was thinking, you know what, let's use these for these acrylic beads that a ton of us have. And I promise you, look at this. Do you see that? That is a bucket of a butt ton <laughs> of acrylic beads, like no joke. So I was like, okay, Anna, you need to you need to start using these. I've had them long enough. I need to bust them out. So I was like, well, let's use these corsage pins and start um, making them with these beads. So these are all beads that I've purchased from Joann's. A lot of the acrylic beads come from Joann's. You can find some at Michael's. You can go on Amazon and um, type in acrylic bead caps, or no, acrylic flower bead caps or acrylic flower beads. That's how you find these ones right here that look like this, you know, that look like these right here. Super gorgeous, I've had these for years. But that those are the places that I got them. And then I just layered it. And then for instance, you'll see right here on the tag, you just stick this. And how stinking cute is that, right? It's so full of color. I absolutely love all the colors and just mix matching them. And they look just absolutely adorable. Then you have this one right here where I layered like three of them. And then I did my nails, ladies, yes. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing another video until I do my nails. I used the dip powder. So I just went on Amazon and purchased the kit. I used to do my nails all the time. And then Nat and I were like, you know what? We're going to have to start doing our own nails. So we went and purchased the kit and we both did our own nails. <laughs> so um, these are now my natural nails. Not too bad, right? Super easy to do. But anyways, then I have these. And look at how fun. I know you guys are looking and thinking, oh my gosh, I have those bead caps. Or not those bead caps, but those acrylic beads. And then you just stick them back here. And how fun, right? Just another added cuteness onto your project. This one right here I did as just a little dangle. And all you do is you add a jump ring and a couple of your whatever you want to dangle from it. These are all a bunch of things. And a lot of these I did purchase from Allie because they get, you can get so many for the, you know, for the bang for your buck. And then you see, and these are floating. So these don't, they don't stay attached like the rest of the beads. Okay. Then I have this one right here. Super fun. I love the mix matching of colors. It's just giving me life. <laughs> see how fun? This is the last one that I did and I did it with this just I just did a little dangle now my wire wrapping skills are poor but that's okay because you know what a lot of the times I like to do the bird's nest wrap and that's pretty much the messy wrap so you'll see it's just it just looks like a bird nest it's just kind of like a mess of a wrap it's not all perfected and I'm okay with that type of wrapping and that is actually a thing just so you know I didn't just make that up um, I have also done that type of style on, um, on jewelry that I've made and it's absolutely gorgeous. But, um, so you would just add that and see how fun and pretty that is. Just more color. And then I was like, well, let's go ahead. And I did some of these dangles. Look at how cute. I use an eye pen at the bottom instead of, um, the head pin, which is the flat, the eye is the open at the bottom. And then I just added an acrylic bear. And then just a lobster, a lobster claw. And that's it, just layering a bunch of different shaped bead caps that are acrylic. 
And how fun is that? So if I was to get this and add it on the tag, oops, how fun is that? Right? Is that not the stinking cutest? Yes. So I did another one. Oops. So you'll see I have a couple bead caps there and then I just used another acrylic bead, acrylic, plastic, whichever. I did this one right here. And then I just layered all of those on top of each other. Super fun. Just mix matching. I totally had a blast doing that. So I figured let's just go ahead and jump on here and just do a couple with you guys so I can show you how I do it. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do, I put the combo together because then sometimes it's hard for me to do it. So you have just your regular corsage pen and I use glossy accent, okay? Now there are girls that do these and use hot glue. So if you're an instant gratification, you just wanna put a dab of hot glue, but you gotta move, push the bead on quickly. Now, the only thing is, is when you get hot glue and it seeps out, you can see it because it's like a cloudy color and it doesn't look good. If you try to peel it off, it will come off the metal. And just so you know, it doesn't last um, when you use hot glue on these stick pins. It'll be good for the moment, but within a few days, it, it just will start coming undone. You put any hot glue on metal, it doesn't last long. So that's why I use um, Glossy Accent, okay? So let me make sure it's coming out. Oh wait, did I grab my new one? Uh, no, I did not. But let's go ahead, poke a hole in there. All right. So all you do is you put a little bit of glossy accent and <laughs> really are we really doing this right now oh my gosh i have something stuck in there and oops let's see there we go all right so we just put just a little oh my gosh there's something genuinely just stuck in there well that's okay it's pushing out so it's just a little bit that's on there. And then we're gonna get, and I'm doing the bead cap the other way so that it looks like this. Okay. And then I put another dab of that along and I just like kind of turn the, um, the um, corsage needle pen thingy as I'm putting it on. And then I put the other one on, and then it'll stick onto that one. Then I put another dab of it. There's, I can see that there's something like right in there. And every time I push it back, it just keeps coming through and I can't get it out. That's so annoying. Okay, sorry guys but I know you know the struggle. <laughs> so I just add a little bit around the edge of that. And then I put on the next bead. These I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay. And that's kind of all you do for every single bead. And then it starts going, when the holes are bigger, the glossy accent will go down there and it'll start, when it dries, it'll dry stuck to the bead. Then I put, this little one on there. And then I'm put this next bead. And then we're gonna put the last one, which is this little heart. And you wanna make sure that you put everything going the direction of the flower, because this is gonna be turned upside down. Oops so that it looks like this, okay? And then it has to dry this way. 
So all I do is I'll put it in something, like you see, like right there, just so that it's sitting upside down. And then I just let it sit there for a couple hours, only because there's so much, so many layers. So and then this one right here, this is a super simple one. Oops. I should have brought my bead mat out. And then I start with the first part down here. Oopsie. Then I put another little dollop of it there. Oh, geez. Did I? I think I have it this way. And this is actually super fun to do, you know. It gets you to use up some of those beads. I know everybody's into the wire wrapping right now, which is cool too. And man, some of these girls have never done it before and they're like knocking out of the park. I'm sitting there, I'm like, no, that's not my lane. That's not my thing. And it requires me to focus too much. Now you see what I did, right? Oh, sorry, did I help you see? Let me see. What I did is because the bead cap has a gap from the bead to here. So even if I put, um, let me see if I can do it. Even if I put a little bit right here on the needle, it's not gonna touch the bead cap. So I had to put a little bit more on the actual bead so that the cap, so that the, there's, I just put it a little farther down the bead so that the cap will actually adhere to it. So you have to keep that in mind. So like right here, I'm gonna do it again because I'm putting another bead cap. So I'm putting it more so on the bead cap than on the actual um, needle part. There, so this way it'll stick to the cap. But I have to put it now, I have to make sure to put it on here because then it'll fall off the actual needle. And that's why I put one more bead at the bottom. Okay. So then you have this one right here. And then you just set this one upside down. And then when you do that, make sure that you have everything in one direction when it's drying and that it doesn't dry this way. Because then you have one heart going this way and one heart going this way. Remember, it's gonna dry however you leave it. Okay. Then, did I do another one? So I was like, all right, well, let's go ahead and do a dangle. Let's push this down a little bit more. Okay. So the dangle does not require any glossy accent. This is just your typical, nothing, it, just any, like any other dangle, I'm using an eye pin, which is the one that has the circle at the bottom. Why can't I get it to turn, there you go. Looks like that. And then I just start stringing on the acrylic beads. So see how fun that is. Then I'm, I think I put this one inside. I don't know, maybe I put it in the back, let's see. I don't remember how I just had it set up. Okay, I did it this way. So it looks like multiple layers in the back. And this is how it looks in the front. And then I just put that there. Now, for those of you that are challenged like myself with wire wrapping, this is what I do. If you don't want to do the messy one, what I do is I grab the head, the eye pen to where it's flush right here. I think this is too long. Let me cut some of it off, actually. Okay. Now I grab this. And I just turn it. All the way around. You see, I'm not letting go. And I just keep turning it. And I'm gonna show you. Exactly how I just did that. Okay. Okay. So. Do you see we made it like 
a split ring. So it looks like a split ring on top. And it creates the circle, no different. So this way it stays on because we've wrapped it a couple times. We just did it a different way. Okay, so we're gonna use this jump ring. Stick it on here. And, oh, I didn't bring a lobster claw, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and close that off for now. And then you notice we still have that right there, right? So then what we do, this is where we can go ahead and find a fun, I didn't keep out another jump ring. Let's move these out of here real quick. See, I keep a lot of my findings in here. I got this little container from Michael's and there's a stack of six of them and they all stack on top of each other. I love it, I've had it for a very long time though. I get my jump rings from Hobby Lobby. I do not have the measurement if in case you ask. I just buy a lot of them. They do sell them by gauges and by width. I just always gra gravitate to like the medium sized one. And yeah. And then we're gonna get this bear. And then we're gonna attach it to the bottom of here. And we're gonna close it off. So now we have it where the bear hangs out. Or you can use metal pieces like this as well. But see, let me see, do I have another smaller jump ring I do? Or not jump ring, lobster claw. So you could use any size. I have multiples of different sizes. I always grab a different sizes and never just stick to one. So a lot of people ask me, well, what size are you using? I honestly don't know because I put them all together in one spot. Sorry, I went off the side a little bit. So see? How fun, how cute. Now, there we go. So how fun are these? So I hope for you guys that have a butt ton of these acrylic beads like I do, that you bust them out, start making some of these super cute little dangles because they're super fun to make or, you know, take your chance at doing these corsage pins if you happen to have those um, type of needles. These ones are a ton of fun. And like I said, you can add dangles on them as well. Okay, so that's it. I told you guys I'm just stop by and I'm gonna start just showing a little stuff and then we'll just do it together. I am not, you know, uh, I'm not bringing anything brand new to you, just maybe switching up different things, but this has been around for a super duper long time. Okay, so that is it guys. And I hope you have a class with this and that you give it a try and I will see you guys later. Have an amazing and blessed and super safe week. Bye, ladies.